<laughs> sorry. Um, hey there, it's Waste of Potential 616. Um, back with another comic review. And um, let's talk about a couple of DC books in this video. Um, right. Brightest Day, issue 0. Um, and I'm in Robin, issue 11. Now let's start with this one. Um, I am enjoying the hell out of this title. It's, 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 it's really good. Grant Morrison is doing a, an amazing job. Now, I've said this in the past, um, this, this series, um, in relation to a lot of other, you know, Grant uh, Morrison stuff, it, it, it's becoming, well it has been, but it's steadily becoming more palatable. Um, I think it's, it's, um, much more solid and more linear um, than a lot of his titles and um, you know you don't have to be a Grant Morrison fan to appreciate it um, it's a lot of fun now um, he's got the characters down to a T it's, it's, it's really good I, um, it has um, Dick Grayson um, exploring underneath Bruce's ma uh, manor and uh, trying to sort of solve this mystery about where you know Bruce Wayne is and everything. Um, and he's just brilliantly written. There's, a, there's an almost um, childlike enthusiasm um, to this this case, you know, him sort of discovering clues and whatnot. And uh, it, it's it's really nice. It just shows how different his Batman is um, from Bruce Wayne. Um, and also, um, you know, once again, Damien is brilliant in this. Um, a little bit of a spoiler alert, he's being controlled by his, uh, his mother. Um, and um, things are just unfolding really well. Uh, we've got this mystery going on with Dick Grayson. And we've got this, I think, quite exciting um, storyline with, with Damien, you know, what's, what's he going to do, you know, he's going to be able to fight, just control it, it's quite exciting. Um, and there's a really nice pace to this comic, I think. Um, you know, there's quite a lot going on, it switches from Dick Grayson to Damien's situation, and also shows um, Talia sort of controlling Damien. Um, but, um, I know there's another villain, DC villain, who is also ends up controlling him, and which is brilliant. Um, he's one of my favourite DC villains. I'm not going to say, but it's it's a logical, um, it's a logical move um, to have this character in it, and when he's involved, it's always good. I think. Well, if he's written well, which he is in this. Um, but it's great. What 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 Grant Morrison has done there, you know, he's he's got this this um this mystery about Bruce Wayne and um you sort of you feel the enthusiasm of Dick Grayson, you you know. Um, well I do anyway, you know, enthusiastic with him. You've got this cool storyline with Damon and you've got this character this um the mystery of this character, Sexton. I think we're gonna finally find out who he is in the next issue. And he's set up a lot of things nicely here. To make get you to the point where you just, you, I'm really looking forward to the next issue. So it does a great job. It did really good. Um, Andy Clark does good, you know, um, great artwork here. You know, I still um, uh, would prefer Frank Quinley, but you know, I still get this cool cover. But not to take away from Andy Clark, because he, he does a good job here. So really nice um, pacing. This, you know the, the mysteries that are unraveling. It's 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 interesting, you know. And um, there's this new character, Domino, you know, um, and sort of these weird uh, 99 fiends, these villains, which um, just that little bit of Grant Morrison weirdness, not too much, but he gets to be a little bit crazy and weird with them. So. Uh, you still get that little bit of, you know, mad Grant Morrison, but um, it's not overwhelming, you know, so this is a great title, pick this up. It, I think this is, this is unique, because it's not, it's not, well, it's not a Batman title, it's not Bruce Wayne, it's, it's, um, Dick Grayson and, um, Damien, 
you know, obviously they're the characters, but they're not the traditional Batman and Robin. And these are such cool characters. I mean, um, Dick Grayson just thrown into the um, role of Batman, how he deals with that. And Damien, who's this evil little bastard, but there's a little bit of good in them, just how they deal with, you know, what's going on. It's, it's really good. So, um, pick this up. Okay, um, right, brightest day, issue zero. Um, a few mixed feelings about this. It's, first off, it's a good comic. It's, as, you know, as, as a singular comic, this, this is really good. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, Jeff Johns and uh, Peter J. Tomasi do a good job. Um, what this is, is just laying the foundations for other stories and other titles. It's, in a negative way, it's it's kind of like a big sales pitch. Um, and, and, and it has, you know, advertised at the end, you know, Brightest Day, the series itself, but the Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corps, Green Arrow, um, Flash, Justice League, uh, Generation Lost, Birds of Prey, Titan, um, Titans from the Fire. You know, it's the beginning of another big crossover. Um, but I kind of feel that these, you know, you don't need to get all of them for the whole story. It's, it's going to be a lot of stories sort of um, loosely tied together. Um, also, on another negative, um, it basically has Dead Man. Um, and the white light sort of teleporting him to these various characters and we get to see what's going on with them. Now even though they are connected, they're, you know, obviously they were resurrected together for whatever unknown reason, I felt, kind of felt there was a bit of a lazy um, plot device or just had them teleport to various characters, you know. Um, but it, I suppose it kind of made sense. But um, yeah, this was enjoyable. and. The thing about this, okay, I'm not familiar with all of these characters, a lot of them I am, I am. Um, but they're all done in a reasonably interesting way, now maybe not enough for me to follow the various titles that I've just mentioned, but enough to want to pick up the Brightest Day series, um, I think that might be enough for me, I might pick up the Justice League um, uh, generation lost because the, the stuff in Maxell Lord is, is intriguing, you know. Um, but you know the Hawkman stuff. I'm, I'm not so fast, you know. Uh, and the Flash, mm, I don't know. But um, there's enough here to be entertained. It's a packed comic book, and even if you're not interested in some of the characters and storylines, I think there's enough here for you to be entertained so even if you are getting a bit of crossover fatigue I say just pick this up sort of as a taster and you know if there's about you know four or five different as uh, storylines sort of building it you're bound to like one or two of them um, so give it a go you know um, you know I think some people might be a little bit resentful because you know we didn't get the conclusion, a solid conclusion um, in Blackest Night, and we kind of have to get into another crossover, but, you know, I think you might just be able to pick up the Brightest Day series, we'll see, and, um, you know, that's the nature of these crossovers, so there you go. Anyway, okay, I'll leave it at that, guys, have a good one.